suppose in the exam we mention like this suppose sin t plus sin pi t is given so we can by looking we can say it is a non periodic how is suppose for this signal omega 1 is equal to 1 so this signal omega 2 is pi so if i use omega 1 by omega 2 1 by pi which is a irrational simply we can say not a periodic signal similarly if he is mentioned sin t plus sin 3t there is no pi term in this omega so we can say it is a periodic <coughs> now omega 1 is equal to 1 omega 2 is equal to 3 so omega 1 by omega 2 is period rational number so it is a periodic how to find period omega naught is equal to highest common factor of all numerators by LCM of all denominator so 1 by 1 3 by 1 see we cannot find for this number so we have to take omega 1 first so omega 1 is 1 by 1 omega 2 is 3 by 1 so for the denominators we can I mean numerator 1 into 1 3 into 1 so 1 is a common factor LCM is for 1 1 is 1 so omega naught is 1 radian per second <coughs> If it is a discrete time signals, suppose sin pi n is given, sin n is given. So from this omega 1 is equal to pi, omega 2 is equal to 1. So first we need to find n1. n1 is 2 pi by pi into m. So m is equal to 1. So for this is okay, a rational number. Suppose n2 is equal to 2 pi by omega 2. Omega 2 is 1. So there is no integer to become this one is a rational number. So it is a irrational. So it is not a periodic. So periodic plus not a periodic is will become a not a periodic signal simple similarly if it is a sin n plus sin 5 n omega 1 is 1 so 2 pi by omega that is 2 pi by 1 into m again it's a rational, irrational number similarly 2 pi by 5 into m so m is there is no m which will make the irrational number so it's again not a periodic remember when you see the discrete signals there should for in all signals should contain pi then only it will become a periodic signal so whenever we see there is no pi in the omega we can say directly the discrete signals are not a periodic now similarly if we see for a continuous time period one signal there is no pi another signal there is a pi so we can say the total signal is not a periodic there should be Continue for a continuous signal if pi is there in all signals pi should be there if there is no pi so all signal should not contain any pi then we can see it's a periodic signal so remember these points for the how to find a periodic periodic period for a given signals or signal